My name is Prem Chandran and I am a technical marketing engineer in Cisco's IBNG business unit. In this video, I will cover how the machine reasoning engine feature in Cisco DNA Sender can help resolve network issues quickly. Machine reasoning engine is a powerful and intelligent tool that aids network engineers, operators, and architects. 30 years of Cisco networking knowledge is available at the click of a button. The MRE runs through the complex and lengthy set of steps required to troubleshoot an issue with the click of a button and provides conclusions as to what the root cause of the issue is. A task that required experienced network engineers can now be executed by anyone. Since all the troubleshooting steps such as collecting and analyzing the required information from the network devices are automated, a lot of time is saved which increases business productivity and efficiency. This also results in reduced TAC cases as simple issues can be easily resolved using the MRE workflows. The knowledge from Cisco subject matter experts is used to create a workflow to troubleshoot various issues. This workflow is used to build knowledge packs which are uploaded to the cloud from where the Cisco DNA sender can be easily upgraded for new use cases. These can be updated manually or automatically to retrieve any new MRE use cases. Currently, Cisco DNA Sender has six MRE use cases. They are spanning tree loop detection, power supply failure, interface down, high CPU, ping test, and fabric data collection. The MRE assists with detecting MAC flaps, indicating that there is a STP loop. It checks the STP forwarding status and figures out if there is a loop being caused and which interfaces or VLANs are involved. This allows the admin to shut down the interfaces or the VLANs to fix the interface to stop the spanning tree loop. For power supply failure issues, the MRA detects if the power supply is down or if POE devices are not receiving enough power or if there is a power supply with no input power. For interface down issues, the MRE detects if the issue is caused by a port error disabled state, duplex mode mismatch, speed mismatch, or other issues. If there are any issues with the cable, then cable diagnostics can also be run by the MRE. The MRE reports on that as well. This allows the admin to pinpoint the exact issue and resolve interface down problems quickly. High CPU issues can be caused by MAC flap or pundit packets. The MRE checks for both of these and provides more information on these to pinpoint the problem and resolve the issue. It also shows which processes are taking high CPU in the last five minutes. Ping tests can be used to ping an IP address on a device with the click of a button. No need to open a terminal or other tools to do this job. For fabric data collection, the MRE will run relevant CLI commands on different fabric devices in your network and collect the data and create a file for you to download. This is useful when you need to troubleshoot fabric related issues as the data required is collected at the click of a button. All of the above issues involve running multiple CLI commands on devices, occasionally on many devices, and then analyzing the data to troubleshoot the problem. All of this is automated by the machine reasoning engine. The conclusions are presented to the network admin, resulting in speedy resolutions to common problems that often take a lot of time. Thanks for watching.